Hey guys, Rich Man here from Rich Man Knows Tech. Now, I'm not sure whether I should be doing this today or not, but whether you like it or not, I'm gonna be bringing you some weather apps for your Fire Stick or Fire TV. I know, bad dad pun, what can I say? But I said it, and let's get on with it. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you some live TV, how to get live TV on your Fire Stick or Fire TV or Fire Cube or Fire TV Lite. On this one, on the, well, on that one, you could get news and, and various live stuff. This one, I'm going to show you how to get the weather. So we're going to find that together. I've downloaded five weather apps here from the Amazon store, and we're going to check them out together. You can get each one of these by just going up to that search icon and typing in the name. So let's go through them together and see what's good and what's not. We're going to see that right after this. First though, I hope by this point guys I've earned your subscription. If I haven't, please consider going down, hitting that subscribe button, and smashing that like button. Both of them really help me out and it tells YouTube to keep me in the algorithm. It tells them you like this kind of content and it keeps my videos in the loop. So I really do appreciate it guys. Also, check out my second channel if you haven't already. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's a top 10 tech channel. I think some of you guys are really going to like it. I'm working hard on it. And, and let me know by going over there and leave some comments down below on those videos. I really appreciate to see what your opinion is on what direction that you might want me to take it. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to it. So the first one I downloaded is called My Radar. Let's open it up and check it out together. Now when it first opens, you see it says, Welcome to My Radar. Where would you like your home location? It says loading. I'm assuming that means it's going to load up wherever it sees that your location is, you know, when you're signed in to your uh, internet service. Unless you're using a VPN, of course. Which you should be, by the way, if you're not. A couple of links down below for you to check out. They're discount links. And I appreciate it. If you subscribe to them, they are affiliate links, but there's some great discounts. Anyway, back to this. It's still loading, so it doesn't look like it's fine in my location. So if we go down, set it with a zip, we're going to try that out. All right, you see it comes up with a big number screen here. I'm going to put in a zip code, and we're going to go down here to where it says save. Now it's telling me it's unable to locate 27617. I'm not sure what the deal is there. But you can see in the entire map, it does show you some satellite images. And if we click the back button, let's see, it looks like it, it brings up a screen on the left hand side where you can just see radar, you can see video or settings. So let's click on radar and that just brings it back to this screen. Click on it again, we'll go to video. There's no active streams. We go to settings. Over here, you can set location. Again, map type gray. Uh, the radar is on, radar type is HD. Temperatures are not on. We can turn on temps, clouds, and wind. So if we go down here, let's try turning the temps. And it looks like it crashed. So now we're back on the home screen and uh, it still says it's loading. So let's go to set manually. Okay, now when it comes back up, you'll see that it does list temperatures for all different major cities throughout the US. But for some reason, it's not saving uh, just the local zip code. So I'm not sure how useful this is gonna be for you. It looks great if you're just looking to see, like if you're traveling, uh, taking a road trip or something, and you just wanna see what the temperatures are on the way, you can take a look at that. So let's go back to the home screen. And the next one I have here is called Yo Window Weather. So when it loads up, this is a fairly nice looking screen here. It shows you today's date and you'll see the, the current temperature. It looks like you can select different areas to view. Let's go up to the gear icon, click on that. And you can you view weather by different units. So let's go back. If you want to search for a different area, I would assume you just click on that search icon and we're going to go over here. We're going to search for a location. 
So I'm going to put in, uh, we're going to check for Los Angeles. And it's going to load up. Here it is. I click on that and we should have the weather in Los Angeles. It's 63 degrees. It's sunny. Tomorrow it's going to be 74. Monday 72. You, you'll see the whole week going across the top. Actually, it's more than a week. So we've got Los Angeles, the time in Los Angeles right now. It's got a nice little scene of the water here with some palm trees. Very nice. So if we go back to settings again, current temp is over here, 50 degrees, cloudy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not a weatherman, so I'm not going to give that to you, but there it is. And then you see what the weather is going to be like for the rest of the week here. So this looks like a pretty decent one, guys. Um, let's check out what this is here. You've got landscape, so you can actually set your landscape in the background. It's got all kinds of different ones here. Let's, uh, let's check out, I don't know, castles looks pretty cool. Let's, I'm going to click on castles, and when it loads up, you'll see the background is castles. This is a really nice looking weather app, guys. So this one was called Yo Window Weather. It's a pretty good one. This may be a keeper, guys. Let's check out the other three. Back to the home screen. The next one we're going to check out is Weather Nation. Let's click on that, see where it opens up to. Right now it's a blank screen. It opens up asking you to enter uh, a name, uh, lo lo well, it asks you to enter your home location, enter a name or zip code. So again, I'm going to enter a zip code here. The location was successfully added. That's good news, I guess. So I'm going to click on OK. I guess I, I click OK. I don't know. Let's go back. OK, so here we are. And you'll see uh, the current conditions feels like it's cloudy. Select for 36 hour and extended view. And you also have some video going on here. So you got Weather Nation. OK, so we got the extended forecast. What am I looking at here? OK, we scroll down to the bottom and you'll see here's today's forecast. Here's tomorrow. Uh, looks pretty nice and it looks like we got a little bit of rain in the forecast there on Sunday. Monday, a little bit of rain, but the temperatures are pretty decent. So let's go back to the home screen. That was Weather Nation. We still have a couple more to check out. Now let's check out Weather Bug. Do we open up Weather Bug? You have a cute little bug there. No before, like no before you go. No the weather before you go. Okay, add a location. So again, we're going to add a zip code. Okay, and here's the home screen. So it comes up, so it's very clear. It says now, forecast, maps, video, and settings. Very nicely categorized here. Uh, it shows, you know, today's forecast in very large letters, 52 degrees. You see it's going up to 62 with a low of 40. What it feels like, 52, mostly cloudy. Here's the date, here's the time. Very nice layout here, guys. Here's your 24 hour forecast. Sunday and Monday. Let's scroll over here to where it says forecast. Now you've got the five day. Today, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Excellent. It even shows you a probability of rain and what time it's going to rain, you know, approximately. We go to maps. Here's your storm tracker, your radar, your satellite, pressure, temperature, and alerts. And under video, um, you've got, if you scroll down, there's a national weather video and you've got various videos from locations all around the country here, guys. And then if you go to settings, you can, you can look at, you can set it to either Celsius or Fahrenheit, whichever you're familiar with. You can add a location. You can look at the privacy agreement or the terms of use. This is a really nice one, guys. The weather bug. Okay, it looks like we got one more left to go through. And that's the weather network. So we click on that one. And on the home screen, it shows you the current uh, conditions. It shows you the time and the date. And if you go down here, it shows you different videos uh, from, I'm guessing from around the country. This year's firefall in Yosemite, large flames cause candle to extinguish. So if we scroll over to the left, you see we get a, a pop out on the left-hand side. 
where you can choose videos, you can go down to weather, photos, maps, search, settings. Okay, and it looks like if you click on this plus sign up here, you're gonna be able to add another city. Then it comes up to your full forecast. So it, it's not totally visible when you first open up the app where you get your, your, your main forecast and your five day and your hourly. You have to go over to the left, let that pop out on the left, select weather, and then your main default location is gonna show up here. So you see this is the current temperature, this is what it's going up to today, Saturday evening, Saturday overnight. If you scroll down, you have hourly. So it shows you 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., etc. 14 day forecast here, guys. So it's got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I would have to say that Yo Window would be my number two choice and Weatherbug would be number one. I thought Weatherbug did a really nice job of when you open it up, You've got everything right here. You've got your full forecast for your local area. You've got right here on the home screen without going and, and having the left side open up. You can go to forecast maps, video settings, etc., And it's all right there. It's really nicely laid out. So that's it for today, guys. This is Rich Man. I'll see you in the next video.